Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about adding and subtracting decimals and mixed decimals through ten thousandths without or with regrouping. These are the steps in adding and subtracting decimals and mixed decimals. Number one, arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Number two, insert zeros in empty decimal place values if needed so that all the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Number three, add or subtract as with whole numbers. Number four, place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to all the addends. To fully understand the steps, let's study some examples. 786 thousandths plus 6 and 54 hundredths plus 7,643 ten thousandths. To add decimal numbers, first arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Insert zeros in empty decimal place values. Make sure that the decimal points are aligned. Then, add as with whole numbers. We start adding from right to left. So, 0 plus 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. 6 plus 0 plus 4 is equal to 10. 0, regroup 1. 8 plus 4 plus 6 plus 1 is equal to 19. 9, regroup 1. 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 1 is equal to 20. 0, regroup 2. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to all the addends. Another example. What is the sum of 9,876 ten thousands and 564 thousands? First, Arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Then insert zero in empty decimal place value. Then start adding from right to left. So, 6 plus 0 is equal to 6. 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. 1, regroup 1. 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 plus 1 is equal to 15. 5, regroup 1. 9 plus 5 is equal to 14, plus 1 is equal to 15. 5, regroup 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 1. Then, place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to all the addends. Therefore, the sum is equal to 1 and 5,516 ten thousands. Another example, find the sum of 56 and 8,923 ten thousands and 4 and 67 hundredths. First, we're going to arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Then we're going to add zeros in empty decimal place values. Then we're going to add from right to left. 3 plus 0 is equal to 3. 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. 9 plus 7 is equal to 16, 6, regroup 1. 8 plus 6 is equal to 14, plus 1 is equal to 15, 5, regroup 1. 6 plus 4 is equal to 10, plus 1 is equal to 11, 1, regroup 1. 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. Then place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to all the addends. So, the sum is equal to... 61 and 5,623 ten thousands. Another example. What is the difference of 78 and 265 thousands and 5 and 8,432 ten thousands? First, we're going to arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Then insert zero in empty decimal place value. Then let's find the difference. 
So, 0 minus 2 cannot be. We borrow 1 from 5. 5 becomes 4. 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. 2 minus 8 cannot be. We borrow 1 from 8. 8 becomes 7. And 2 becomes 12. 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Bring down 7. Then, affix the decimal point. Therefore, the difference is 72 and 4,218 ten thousandths. Next example, find the difference of 786 thousandths and 5,639 ten thousandths. Okay, first we're going to arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Then insert 0 in empty decimal place value. So let's subtract. 0 minus 9 cannot be. Bar 1 from 6, 6 becomes 5, and 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 9 is equal to 1. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Then, copy the decimal point. Therefore, the difference is 2,221 ten thousandths. This is our last example. Find the difference of 5 and 98 hundredths and 2 and 6,732 ten thousandths. So, we're going to arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Insert zeros in empty decimal place values. So, let's subtract. 0 minus 2 cannot be. We borrow 1 from 8. 8 becomes 7. Next 0, it becomes 9. And the last 0, it becomes 10. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Then copy the decimal point. Therefore, the difference is 3 and 3,068 ten thousands. I hope you understand our lesson for today. So, the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.